Well, you guys are going to be in luck today. We got uh, some automotive video stuff to do. Um, not any parts, unfortunately, but just uh, just some general maintenance. Um, the first thing we're going to check uh, is the power steering system. Now it's been another 400 miles since I've checked the fluid. Uh, we need to suck some of that out um, with the turkey baster and just run some new stuff in there just to keep it clean. Um, and then we're going to check U-joints. Um, I noticed a little bit of vibration on the uh, acceleration. That could just be the road that I'm accelerating on, or it could be the engine, um, or it could be the U-joints. Why not check? It's free. Now when you go to uh, do the power steering, it probably wouldn't hurt to uh, get the car running, let it warm up, and then uh, run the wheels back and forth uh, just to uh, heat up the power steering system. But uh, uh, that, that way it'll the, the fluid will expand or it'll rise, and then you can get as much out. But uh, really I just want to get whatever's in the reservoir out, and then we're going to put mostly stop leak in there just to uh, try and seal up the system hold some more pressure so that the point will be, pump will be less noisy. Um, as you know I have a leak on the driver's side of the rack and pinion and uh, it's not it's not leaking too much fluid now it's pretty much stopped but uh, it's just enough of a leak to uh, lose pressure in the system so the power steering system is not as good as it should be. So um, for the other part of this video, we're going to use the creeper. That'll be nice. I might have to jack up the car a little bit, unfortunately. So here's the stuff. You've seen this before. I've got a little bit left. And I've got plenty of this stuff. It's got stop leak in it. Um, here are the tools we're going to use to take the stuff out. And then this is a old washer fluid bottle. Hopefully my camera won't fall. Can we get my stuff? I think when we had this car, the system flushed. Uh, few months ago by a mechanic they I don't think they flushed it out enough times to get all the crappy fluid out because you saw earlier with the old pump I was still getting old fluid out in fact I almost think for certain that they didn't even flush it out in the first place because it was dirty after I checked it
get this uh, heat going, huh? Oh, a lot better. As you drive around, when the engine's nice and hot, power steering's nice and hot, it should uh, it should get better. This is not too bad. This is a little bit better. But basically, I want to take it around the block for a little bit and just and do a lot of it, put a lot of turns and stuff just to get the power steering going. Probably should put my seatbelt on in case there's a cop in the neighborhood. We do have a cop that, that lives in this neighborhood. Never done that before. I'm gonna readjust my steering again. Now that wheel's going out too much that way. You ever hear of a steering alignment? And drive it a little bit and uh, the pump should quiet down. This one's really hard to bleed because, well, I personally think it's hard to bleed because the the seals are gone on the rack and uh, especially the, especially the seal that's on the driver's side of the rack just before the, the uh, inner tie rod meets. Um, that is, I think that one's gone, big time. And it's uh, definitely going to introduce air into the system, so um, it's it's going to buzz. Is it good for the pump? I don't think so. Because that little bit of air that gets into the system. Possibly ruin the pump over time. You could probably consider that a lack of fluid. Uh, yeah, it's, I can turn it at a dead stop, so that's an improvement. Before I would uh, almost nearly stall the engine. Before we check them, let's have this ready. Now we're not taking anything apart. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lube it up just to ensure it'll last a little bit longer. One thing I kind of want to do now is go back to my original leaf spring shackles, cause uh, yeah. I mean, I know it's jacked up, but they have more of an arc. Even when it's jacked up like this with the stock shackles. So here's the axle. It's actually not a lot of play on it. It's actually really good. So. It's a tight fit. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, get on there and spray it. And, you know, and then uh, color good. And then we'll uh, probably go onto this side and uh, down at that end and check it. Uh oh, I see some fluid. <laughs> I'm gonna have to jack this side up so I can get under here. Uh, but yeah, I do see some fluid. Yeah, there's fluid right there. I think I have a, a leak right there. No, nope, no play. for me your joints are good those are pretty good your joint you joints but uh, I gotta mow this thing the mailman's going I got it before the mailman came one last thing I should really grease these things up They like to squeak. I think what I'm gonna do is take these out of the third hole and put them in the first one. 
or the second one. Just soak it. That should be good.